guys, I'm David Stiabudi and today I'm going to explain you about Computer Science Chapter 10 which is called Pseudocode and Flowchart. Why do I use this mask? Because I'm being locked down because of the coronavirus. Okay, everyone is being locked down. Okay, I hope this one is clear for you to listen. Okay, now, the computer science chapter 10 is about pseudocode and flowchart. Now, I have a lot of things to explain to you, but to summarize all... Ah! It's not clear enough to explain using that one and using this too. Okay, so... Whew. I'm going to explain you a lot about pseudocode and flowchart. Okay, but if you can learn this core, okay, I think it summarizes all, I think it's half of the chapter because this core is going to explain you about the conditional statement. Okay, in the pseudocode learning, the first one is conditional statement, which is if, then, else, and if. Let's say, if you are this, then you get this, okay? This conditional statement is also case of otherwise and case. This is the first type conditional statement. The second one, which is you learn later later on, but it's not in the score learning in one page. I'm trying to summarize everything in one page. The second one, which you learn later, is a loop. Loop, there is four, next, repeat, while, and the other. That second one is not covered in this tutorial, but it will be in the next tutorial, okay? I'm going to cover this core learning in one page. So, if you understand this one, then you have mastered the conditional statement, okay? Now, you see this one. Print, write down, blah, 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 blah. This one is called pseudocode, okay? All of this is called pseudocode. Now, print, write down, test mark. So it will be writing this one at the first step, okay? The first line until the eighth line. So the computer always do the first sentence, second sentence, in order until the eighth. So the first time, it needs your imagination. Please use your imagination. The first time computer is so showing, write down your test mark. And then the computer will ask you to type, okay, something, and it's called test bar. Okay, anything you type, any numbers that you type, it is stored in the computer's mind as a test bar. Okay, you actually you can name it, it actually you can name the variable anything, but this variable is named as test bar. So let's say you type down 45. That one the computer will remember Oh, 45 is the test mark that you input. And then you go to the third one, third line. If 10 
gas mark is below 60, okay, you put down here, is 45. And then if the test mark is 60, un under 60, then, okay, 45 is under 60 or what? Okay, it's under 60. So, then the result is fail test. Okay, so what the computer did is result is fail test. You see this arrow? Okay, it means also as equal to Okay, the result is fail test, but in the pseudocode, you write down this arrow. So the result is fail test. So after this one is fulfilled, after all of this one is fulfilled, then it will ignore line 5. Since, okay, 45, 45 then the result is fail test. After this one is done, it will ignore the other. If the first one is not fulfilled, then it will go to the line 5, else. This one is a closing statement. So this is one set. If there is if statement, the closing line will be and if it's like a pair it's like in the bracket you have an a open bracket you will have a closed bracket so line 4 and line 5 is in between please be careful in the test so let's say there is open bracket okay but there is no closed bracket then it's a mistake you should fix it and you should put the closed bracket and if without space. See, this one is a closing statement. Okay, and the next one is empty. Actually, you, you can put a lot of empty lines. It doesn't create any error. So, it's okay to put that one empty. You can, let's say you put seven, eight, nine, empty is okay. So, the next one, print result, you see print, with this one, open, closing, okay, result, comma, result. If you don't put comma, it will be error. So, because this one, the result, is a variable from here oh the variable from here see result equals to fail test result is fail test so the result is fail test so guys in this pseudocode if i type the input is 45 or 55 then the output is fail test. Okay, result, see, result, 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 space, space, two dots here, yes. And you see comma here. If you don't put comma, it will be a syntax error. There is an error. Actually, you can put comma here or you can put plus. There are two options, comma or plus. But if you put comma, then there is no space here. So after this, okay, these two dots, then there is no comma. It straightly go fail test. But if you put here, it's not comma, but it's a plus, 
then there will be one space and then fail test okay from this core learning summarizing all of the half of the chapter do you understand this core learning if you don't understand you can always ask me during the class or in the online class okay now let's go to learn deeper in detail about everything okay this one is just for quick learning and introduction of the conditional statement next now this is the theory what is an algorithm algorithm is a step-by-step -step procedure to solve a given problem step by step remember line one line two line three line four there's the step procedure to solve a given problem so there's a problem that you need to solve so i think this one is okay then we move next what is a pseudocode pseudocode is a simple method of showing an algorithm using a spanish like words no <laughs> actually this one is not a chinese it's not a malay or indonesian language this one is an english like words okay pseudocode is english like word but it's not english since it's a, a little bit weird words but it's an english like words and mathematical operators that are set out to look like a program first it looks like english english like words the second one it looks like a program it's not a real program okay but there are a lot of program or high level language which is similar to this pseudocode okay now this one is the pseudocode that you've seen now the second one what is a flowchart is flowchart the same with pseudocode no flowchart is a method of showing algorithm using diagram boxes arrows boxes arrows boxes and the steps required for a task or subsystem and they do be performed this one is a flow chart if you see this one this one is a flow chart let's say in the exam or in a test there will be a question of a problem and asking you to create a program but the question is asking you to create a pseudocode then you write down the pseudocode not this flowchart but if the exam or if the test is asking you to create a flowchart then you create this flowchart okay i will be explaining to you how to create a flowchart later on is it box okay and then this is the symbols okay you need to know whether you put the arrow yes or no then a pseudocode is a clear and concise way to represent an algorithm data items to be processed by algorithm are given meaningful names variable and constants in high level language this one is high level language i hope you know already know the difference between high level language like this and low level language such as there are two low level language which is assembly language and machine code if you wish to know about high level language and low level language just type in the youtube videos that I create just type high level language David Stiabudi tutorial then you can learn about what is high level language 
and low level language. See, low level language, this one is, but this one is just not just low level language, but low level language machine code. 011001. Okay. Moving next. This one is a pseudocode. So if you get mark, if your mark is 45, this is uh, the if and and if. What is the mistake with this? The mistake is you put space. Okay, and if should be in a one word. And if can use space can be used a space like this in Adobe Director or Lingo language. But in the pseudocode, you should put this one without space. Okay. And if you got 45, then the result is punishment under 9G. Imagine that. Under 90 equals or under 90, then you got punishment. But then if you got 91, 92 or more, then this evil parent will give you lunch. Okay, get the joke and print result. The result is punishment or give lunch, just like that. But this one is giving the result of punishment. Now, can I write anything that claims it as a pseudocode? Okay, you have a logic. Then you write down something and then you claim this one is a pseudocode. Can you claim anything you write as a pseudocode? Like this. Write Z. The evil parents. You see? The there is no opening, but there is closing. Mark equals 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 to then arrow 45. And you write down this. If only, you see, there's no space there. There's no space there. Less than or equals to 90 and so on. And then print itu semua result. Print itu semua result lah. Can you do that? This one, yeah. You think it's a pseudocode, but it's not for the other. This one is a really messy one. If you do this, then I give you zero more. This one is a mistake. It's not a pseudocode. So please be careful. Pseudocode has a certain rule to write. You cannot write Print it to some more result. Lah. Okay. Now, I'm going to explain you about the pseudocode standards. Pseudocode is not bound to a strict syntax rule of programming language. If you do a programming, it will be more strict. But it doesn't mean you can write down anything you want and you consider that one is correct. It pretends to be a programming code. Again, it is English-like and it's also pretending to be a programming code. See, English-like pretends to be a programming code. Now, remember this one when you type a pseudocode. The pseudocode standard. The first pseudocode standard is, is to ensure it's understandable by the others. It has to be consistent. The first one, when you type in using Microsoft Word or you use Notepad or anything, the word processing software, you need to use the courier Courier new font as a, your font. Courier new font. Okay, not just courier, but courier new font. 
and then all keywords for action are using all capital let's say print input if all of them are using capital see this one print if then else and if oh this one using space is a mistake you need to fix it and if to be one word as in the book okay so all names given to the data item and subroutines start with capital letters example result capital r mark capital mark but r you can use a lower case let's the next one is h you use a capital a but what if the word is let's say test mark test mark you use a capital t and capital m okay test mark capital t est in lower case mark in capital and r uh, capital mark yeah a uh, total mark capital t capital m capital m okay now but that one cannot use space that one should be in one word okay total mark capital t capital m in one word okay where conditional and loop statements are used this uh, loop statements will be learned in the next tutorial okay repeated or selected statements are indented by two space okay now we learn about conditional statement conditional means if then else and if the other one is case of otherwise and case the second one i will explain you later about case and otherwise now this one you see if and and if the repeated or selected statements which is then result else result this two okay this two needs to be have to indented space so you press space bar and space bar twice okay when you type it you need to put space bar two times any questions for this you can always write down there in the comment or when we meet in the class or in the online class you can always ask me Okay guys, this is a sample of a correct pseudocode with input. Okay, there's an in print input and there is a, an if statement here, if, then, else, and if. This one is one set. It has two spaces. And then the last one is a printing the result with comma okay now to know that you really understand about this pseudocode i want you to find the error by the way this one is my hand drawing this is gajah mada the hero from indonesia okay in the stories of Majapahit Kingdom. So, can you find the error here? Can you find it? Where is the error? Okay, so I'm going to show you the error. The error is here. 
you should use okay next one can you find the error if the test is less than 60 then the result fail test can you find the error can you find the error okay the error is here see it has space while this one you see is also having space line 2 and line 3 is having an error syntax error guys can you find the error here okay i'm going to tell you the answer is here Okay, now can you find the error here? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, the error is here. Nice. Nice guess. I don't think you guessed. I think you already looked through it. Okay, here are the operators, mathematical operators in the pseudocode plus minus star is multiply this one is for divide and this one is for raised to the power so if you type down three this one equals two equals two nine Okay, nice. But in the pseudo code later on, okay, you need to write down like this. Because equals to replaced by this arrow. Okay, now the next one group. It's a very common one when you want to group it, you use this one, brackets, okay? Let's say 2 plus 3 powered by 2, and it's equals to 9, a uh, close bracket. And then this one is um, average mark equals 2 or is average mark is you use the bracket here mark one plus mark two close bracket divided by two okay now remember this guys remember read my mouth remember this one pseudocode operator diff what if diff okay Div means division rounded down. So let's say result equals to your input div 3. What does it mean? So if it's 7, 7 div 3. 7 div 3. 7 divided by 3. Okay, in the mathematical, 7 divided by 3 is, yes, okay, this 1 is 7 divided by 3, but diff is different, diff is division rounded down, so this 1 is gone. It's just 2. Okay? 10 div 3 and the result is 3. 
Okay. 10 divided diff 3. If you just use the carbon div division, it will be 3. One per three. Okay, so you need to remove this. And you get three. It's also going for 34 div three. The result is 11. I hope you get this. Okay? Now, the second one is mod. After div is mod. What is mod? Mod is, for me, it's just a leftovers. So, 7 mod 5. The example is 7 mod 5. Let's say 7 divided by 5. If it's a division, it means... 7, 2 per 5. So, leftovers is this one. This is the leftovers. So, 7 mod 5 is 2. Okay? I hope you get what mod means. The next one is pseudocode comparison operator. Uh, this one is similar to the math. Greater than, less than. This one is equals to, okay, if it's used alone without bigger or smaller than. Greater than or less than. So, if it's only equals to, then it changes to this arrow. Remember that. Okay? Remember this one. So, people will know this one is a pseudocode. And, or, and not. Usually, the task is playing your logic in the and and or. In the true-false question, they will ask you something and then you will say, okay, I think this statement is correct using or. But, that, but then it's false. You are being tricked. So try to read the question logically so you know the difference when to use the and when to use the or. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you a question. So, after you see this one, okay, this is line 1, line 2, line 3, line 4. And I want you to answer me, what is the answer of this variable? If you don't know what the question means, I mean, this one is a variable. This one is a variable. This one is a variable. After this one is being processed, what is the result of this variable? Okay. First, the name. Okay. Name one is Sarah. Okay. Name one is Sarah. So up until the end, Okay, name one Sarah. Name one is Sarah. Up until the end, it's still Sarah. There is nothing replacing the name. Item. The item is also dress. Okay, the item is also dressed up until the end of the line. But 
this message, okay, it uses the name and once item and so on. Okay, plus means there is a space. If you if you type in the keyboard after it's Sarah, you type Sarah, replacing this one, Sarah space once you type once you type space and you type item dress you type space comma this one is one set this one is very tricky you see comma and plus it's standing together but this one okay after plus this variable plus this one is one set you type comma okay you type comma there and then you type plus name two where what where's the name two oh sarah wants dress comma boyfriend space paste Space price and what is the price? You need to see it from here. Okay, you need to count for this price. Okay, times by 0 0.2. So the price you get is 20. Okay. Because 100 here, the price times by discount 0 0.2, it's 20. So the price here is 20. Okay. Although I disagree with this, maybe the, this one is a 20% discount. So the formula should not be like this. Okay. It should be price minus open bracket price times discount close bracket so the price will be 80 because it's 20 percent discount but remember you need to answer as shown in this pseudocode so the answer is 20 okay i hope you get what this question means okay conditional statement as I I have as I have told you this one is if then else with two space here two space here and two space here okay two spaces here and there are other things not just if, then, else, and if, you will have case of otherwise and end case. This one is for two possibilities. Okay. If this one, then this one. There are two possibilities. Okay. Two possibilities only. But this one has three or more possibilities. Okay. But why I prefer if then else and if more I will explain to you later on okay but you need to remember this too and learn it well the conditional if and then is like this the conditional if and then is like this and this one is nested if nested if so you see there is an if statement but then there is something here you see there is one set of if one set of if see if and and if oh this one has space it should not have space here okay inside of this if 
there is another if, okay? It should not have space here. So this one is if within if. So it's called nested if, okay? Okay, guys, now find the three mistakes in this pseudocode. Pause it and try to find it out. Now, this one is a nested if joke. You see, there are if, else, in this else, you fit in another else if, another if. And the else, you put another if and so on. This one is a super, super duper nested if. <laughs> if you get a joke, this one is another one. It's not if, then, else, and if. But this one is using case of. Otherwise, and case without space. Okay? So case the grade is A, print, excellent. And then case grade is B, print, good. Case grade is C, print, average. Otherwise, if A, B, it's also not A, not B, and not C. Otherwise, print, fail. Do you get what? this pseudocode is trying to say. Now this one is another sample of case of otherwise and case. Try to understand this pseudocode. Post it and pay attention. Now find the mistakes of this pseudocode. Can you find it? Pause it. Pause the video and try to find the mistake. Okay, guys. I think it's enough for part one. Yeah? The part one is about conditional statements. For this loop structure, it will be continued in the part two. I hope my tutorial is useful for you and you can press like or subscribe. Bye-bye!